Wilhelm's abdication was triggered by Germany's impending defeat in World War I. In an attempt to obtain better terms from the Allies, a number of changes were made in the government and the constitution to partially democratize the empire. The political changes were not enough to satisfy U.S. President Woodrow Wilson, who was leading the attempt to broker an armistice. When it became clear that he wanted Wilhelm to abdicate, both the military and the government began to make various plans to save the monarchy through a regency or some other means after Wilhelm stepped down. The outbreak of the German Revolution in the first days of November 1918 increased the pressure on Wilhelm to abdicate, but he continued to refuse. In order to calm the volatile situation in Berlin, Chancellor Baden, without Wilhelm's knowledge or approval, announced on 9th of November that the Emperor had abdicated. Later that afternoon, Germany was proclaimed a republic, and Wilhelm went into exile in the Netherlands the next day. His official abdication came on 28th November. The 500-year-old Hohenzollern dynasty ended quietly, with almost no violence or fanfare. A significant number of Germans, including many who considered themselves monarchists, saw Wilhelm's flight to the Netherlands as cowardice and desertion, a view that seriously undermined the dynasty's monarchist standing. In the military, the Supreme Army Command under Field Marshal Paul von Hindenburg quietly took over the Emperor's role as Supreme Warlord. Wilhelm hoped that the Nazis would return either him or one of his sons or grandsons to the throne, but Adolf Hitler had no interest in a restoration. Wilhelm first learned that Germany could not win World War I militarily on 10 August 1918, two days after the Allies broke through the German lines at the Battle of Amiens. He took the news calmly, especially since First Quartermaster General Erich Ludendorff assured him on 14th of August that he would be able to break the enemy's will to fight through a determined defensive. The Emperor spent the next few weeks at Wilhelmshohe Palace near Kassel and returned to Army Headquarters at Spa, Belgium on 10 September where he was not told the truth about the rapidly deteriorating military and domestic political situations. Admiral Georg Alexander von Muller noted, the dishonesty at headquarters has reached a degree that can no longer be surpassed. Everywhere you look egoism, self-deception, and deception of one's colleagues. 